Hello everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play in Resident Evil 4. Do you guys remember how last episode I nearly died four times on the same area? That was a lot of fun. Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious <coughs> cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry it means we were blood. gifted. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. All right, give me one minute. I'm going to adjust the volume to my headphones. Turn it up by one here. All right. So we just encountered the big cheese, who I'm assuming is Beatrice Mendes. I can't remember entirely, but I think so. Yup, I knew he was there too, but I thought his back was turned, so I was going to knife him. That's all right. What would the episode be if I didn't start it off with getting hit in the first five seconds? Dude, we got so many green herbs. This is getting a little absurd. We're not finding any red herbs here, and we need to probably need to organize a little bit. Um, and maybe not, I guess. We're good. All right, can we move these yet? We cannot. Another incendiary grenade, because I don't already got a bunch of those. You know, I think I'm just going to start selling them. We already got quite a bit. Also, I haven't upgraded any of my guns, so I'm saving up a lot of money. The reason I'm not upgrading my pistols is because I'm going to trade it out for the gun. That'll help. That you get for destroying 10 medallions, which is functionally better. Um, I think that's all we got here. Alright. Actually, no. We got a use for our incendiary grenades. We're gonna use it on this motherfucker. Alright. So there's that. We're gonna go switch to our pistol. We're gonna give him the blip. Alright. Go back to our incendiaries. Now he's on fire. We're going to go take out this guy back here. Beautiful. And then we are going to shotgun this guy in the face. Yes, I know this isn't the best way to do it, but it totally is the best way to do it. Wow, that went extremely well. Definitely economical with our ammo. Sufficient, at least. we go ahead and switch back to our handgun here. Alright, I'm not worried about you. We're going to let you get a little closer. Shoot you in the face. Go for the kick. Go for the stab. That is the way to do it. Look at that. Dude, we are killing it this episode. I'm really glad we're starting it out this way. I think there's a snake in here? No, a red herb. Let's go! <coughs> Sorry about me coughing in the... Oh my god, my voice. <coughs> Wanted to apologize for coughing in the mic the way I've been, but I should have mixed it with the yellow herb. Um, It's allergy season. I live in Michigan. We all know how that goes here in Michigan. Every day is allergy season. When you have allergies, of course. TMP ammo. That's one gun we haven't seen yet. All right, let's let's uh, let's be smart about this. No, 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 no. That guy had far more reach than I expected him to. I missed that guy because I tried... Oh, at least I killed the other guy. Go for the kick on him. Alright, let's get out of here. No, 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 no. Damn it. Alright. Perfect. Pretty much what I wanted right there. That was... 
Even though we took a hit, that went pretty well. I think we're being a little too sufficient with our ammo here. We don't really need to have a reservoir, but it's nice to have a little bit extra. All right, let's see where this shortcut takes us. Right back at the farm. Make sure there's nobody in here ready to booby trap us. Nah. I'm going to save the flash grenades because they're, they're extremely situational. And I'm going to show you that pretty soon on why we're going to want those. And because we have so many people, we might as well use our shotgun. Boom. Look at that. Two birds stoned with one rock right there. Alright. Um, oh, we got more guys coming. We can... There we go. Take the pesetas. Take the ammo. Just like that. We'll come back up here, turn around, boom. Can I get a hell yeah? Man, look at this. I am a gangster, dude. This is how I used to play Resident Evil 4 right here. I played this game so much I started learning all the tricks. We're really, really killing it. I woke up this morning, uh, and I just said, you know what, I'm going to play some Resident Evil. I wanted to play it all last night, but I didn't really feel like recording, and obviously I don't want to play this game without recording, so. Alright. There we go. Try shooting him in the knee there to go for a kick, so it was going to be a lot harder for a headshot, but I failed the kick. Was that there last time? Actually, did everything respawn? I don't know if that's a thing if that happens in this game or not. But it doesn't look like it. That was probably just there last time and I missed it. Is there a guy in this house? Can we open this? No. Alright, I hear a guy around here. A plag Las Plagas, I want to say they're called in this game. They're not entirely zombies. So I think they're called Las Plagas. If that's incorrect, I apologize. He's on the roof. Alright. We'll go ahead and take him out. Yeah, he's probably back here. I'll bait a throwing attack from him. And then we'll do that. Here we go. And that should be it for that. Dope. Alright, let's check in here one more time just in case anything... Anything at all respawned. Ammo, money, even the crates. The lock is gone. I think the lock stays off. Yeah, it doesn't look like things respawn, and if they do, we've gone through it too quick. All right. So let's use the key because we got that. We got that key that had that saving signia on it. So we can only assume that it goes to that door. Some handgun ammo. All right. It's locked and won't open. There's some kind of symbol on the door right there and we reached a saving point obviously we're gonna keep going you know what I just realized I didn't set a timer so I'm not gonna know how long I've been recording all right we'll just do this uh, send an alarm for 20 minutes Done. all right I just told Siri to set an alarm I completely forgot to do that reason I do that is because I lose track of time so quick. When you're playing a game you enjoy, you really do. I mean, last episode ended up being like 40 minutes long because 30 minutes just goes by too quick. Now these things right here, I recommend you shoot because you can get ammo and money from it. Like right there, it looks like we got some ammo. Oh, we got a spinel. Alright. Now we're in the catacombs. And right in here, there should be, yep, some spinels on the walls. And this one, I believe you can just knife. That's a, actually, that's a brooch. An elegant headdress. So there you have it. We might actually be able to put that into, hold on a minute. Let's see if we can combine that with our elegant headdress, or whatever it was called. Uh, key treasures. Combine. Nope. And yeah, it doesn't combine with anything. At least not yet. I feel like it will eventually though. Um 
Oh, it's just a merchant. Caught me off guard for a minute. Alright, so again, like I said, there's really nothing we're going to want to buy from him. What are you buying? Um... Yeah, we can get the TMP. We'll do that later. We're gonna get it, just not now. I have a hundred thousand dollars already. We're gonna upgrade our attach case. I don't know if it's attach A, attach. We're gonna say, we're gonna say attach A. There's no accent on it, but I feel like that's the proper way to say it. Um, never buy a rocket launcher. Wouldn't even waste the money on it. You'll find one later on in the game, and that's really the only one you're ever gonna need. What are you buying? Um, I feel like we should tune up our shotgun a little bit. <sighs> yeah, we'll just Is do a old stranger? We'll do a firepower <laughs> upgrade. Thank you. What are you buying? Um, and we're gonna get the TM or not the TMP, the Punisher here in a minute. Alright, let's see if the ruby can be mixed with anything. I think he's yeah, he's just gonna buy that at a high price. There we go. So that Thank almost you. pays for is that old strength? The Is that shotgun old upgrade. Stranger? That's not all. I want to sell Is them all. All right. <laughs> Thank you. So we're going to keep the beer stein. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. I thought he said that that's the highest upgrade, but it looks like he could put more things into it. We're going to go out and hold on to that for a minute. And what can we put in there? It looks like we can put... Is it... Yeah, a mask with three divots, like something might fit inside. One gemstone has been in the set in the side. Okay, so I guess we'll try cat size or spinels or something. I'm not exactly sure. That's the wrong way. All right, this should bring us into the cemetery, if I remember correctly. All right, yeah, we are in the cemetery now. So there should be eight medallions we're gonna have to get rid of here. Um, I don't remember where they're all at. I know there, I know where there's a few at. We'll figure it out. I'm not too worried about it. All right. You can see one medallion already. Two medallions. Three medallions. Four. Let's see if we can go ahead and kill this girl real quick. I thought the other guys would have procced when I attacked her, but they're unaware. Uh, how many crows are there? Would this be a good time to destroy oh, Looks like we only got two, maybe three. Yeah. All right, we'll get to that later. All right, this guy gets the kick in the face. Let's start getting rid of these medallions. I don't know if we can knife this one. That's a close call. Yeah! Alright, there's eight. Can we knife this one? Nope. Alright. This will be our ninth. And this will be our tenth. You can go back and talk to the merchant right now and just get the Punisher, but I believe you encounter him again in just like a minute, so. Not necessarily a minute. Get blepped. Alright. I think there's more than just you. Alright, go ahead and hit us with that. Our handgun is slightly underpowered, but that's perfectly okay because we're using our knife for the most part. We only need to use ammo for when we're going in for kicks so we can stun the enemy and get those knives off. Knives, I guess. Knives, knives. Uh, yep, right here. Ah. There we go. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and look at the, the tombstones. Some of them have symbols on them, like letterings. You see you got like an M here. So there's an M. I saw a Z back there. There should be one more. And that's going to give you what the keys of a puzzle here. Um, ah, a V. So a Z, an M, and a V. 
You guys are going to see why that's relevant in a second. I think it's... Is it down? Nope, it's this way. Alright. Oh! I almost failed that. Alright, there should be a medallion right up here too as well. Yeah, right there. Beautiful. Alright. I really hope I don't waste too much time doing this. So, we want an M. We want a V. So what if we go 3? That'll give us that. Uh, we'll do 4. That'll give us the Z. Now we need the M. What if we go 4? 4. 3. 4. No, that's not how we want to do it. Yeah, okay. That should be it. There we go. That'll give us a green cat side. Now let's see if we can put that into the beer stein or if we can put that into that elegant headdress. Um, I'm actually just going to put it into the beer stein. Yeah, okay. So you don't want to sell that until you get all three of the gems in there. Because there's a yellow cat side too that I believe you get from destroying a bird's nest later on. Alright, this should be locked. Yep, lock from the other side. Uh, I don't think we can go inside the church yet. Um, I don't really want to go in there anyway. We still got a few medallions to get rid of. I know there's one down here, maybe two. Perfect time to drink my hot chocolate. Leon, have you reached the church yet? Uh, well, yeah, sort of. Leon, did I mention not to take the scenic route? At any rate, Ashley's probably inside that structure. Rescue her. Hurry. Uh, is that telling us to go into the church? I'm honestly not entirely sure. Please don't get kicked off the edge. Good. Yeah. I was afraid that it happened. Yeah. I was afraid that happened too. Alright, we should probably heal up. I kind of regret, regret, I regret, I regret using that red herb on the wrong thing, but all in all, it's not horrible. Alright, so yeah, we got a medallion right there, we got a medallion right there. I don't know how many more we need. That's 13, so we're missing one. Alright, now I believe there's a snake in here. We got it with one swing. And we're just going to go ahead and use that. Closure of the church. Regarding the two fugitives, the apprehension of Luis, Luis is our top priority. The American agent, a distant second. What makes him get precedence? What Luis stole from us is far more important than the girl. Okay. Unless we get it back, the girl will become useless to us. We must get it back and execute our plan to the end. If it gets to the wrong hands, the world would become a totally different place than what Lord Sather was envisioned. Has envisioned. Sounds like world saturation. At all costs, we mustn't let that happen. Nevertheless, we're not letting go of the girl. To ensure that the agent does not get to her, we have locked the church door where the girl is being held. Anyone who needs access to the church must first get approval by Lord Sadler, so we need to go ask Lord Sadler to get into the church. There is a key beyond the lake, but it should be safe now that the Del Lago has been awakened by our Lord. No one will get across the lake alive. Plus, our same blood curses through the agent's veins. It'll just be a matter of time before he joins us. Once he does, there will be nobody else left that will come looking for the girl. Alright. Let's go ahead and destroy this. There we go. I'm not sure where the last one's at. I know we're running out of time. If that's the case, I might just... Yeah, we'll, uh... Alright, we'll just head back. Try to find that last medallion. Maybe I'll go one of my tangents on the way back. Oh, never mind. There's the medallion. That's convenient. I was going to go on one of my satirical rants, but it doesn't look like we need to. Perfect. Alright. So now you guys are going to be able to see why I'm hoarding the flash grenades. They're, 
like I said, they're circumstantial. You can use them to stun enemies. Oh, that's not entirely true. Um, they're really good on a specific enemy later on in the game as well. But you definitely want a flash grenade here. Because you can kill all these crows with one flash grenade. Boom. 200 pesetas each. 400 there. 500. Another flash grenade. Yeah, I got a lot of money from that. Alright, I think that's it. So. And because we got a flash grenade in return, we effectively didn't lose anything from that. You can hear growling beyond the door, too. Uh, wait, I can hear something growling on the other side. Could it be a boss? I believe you can find handgun ammo in 15s. I'm not sure if that's in this game or if it's in Resident Evil 5. I thought you could find them in increments of 5, so up to 15, so 5, 10, 15. And a spinel. And I think that's it for here. Alright, so we're going to go to our safe haven. I believe that door is locked. Oh, it's not locked. Alright, probably want to head back. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we definitely want to head back. That's the way we gotta go. This is where the merchant is, and this is where it's gonna be our saving point, and then we can call it quits. And can we? I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. <laughs> I'm a chicken. I hear fish flopping around in the water. Alright. So there's our saving point. There's our merchant. Go ahead and climb up. Uh, there's a ladder around here somewhere. Actually, wait a minute. Nope. Alright. I know there's a secret area here where you push a box out of the way. How am I missing this? Let me go over here and check it real quick. Oh, that's where the fish is. It, I, I could have sworn there was a way to get on top of there. Maybe not. I'm losing my mind. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and talk to the merchant. Got some rare. Uh, well done, stranger. I see you've shot enough shot enough number of medallions like I promised go claim your specialized gun in the buy section don't worry about money that one's on the house or this one's on the house so we're gonna go ahead and buy the Punisher and that's it and we're gonna swap that out for our handgun no we want to sell the handgun we'll put it there and then we'll come over Let's, uh, let's actually compare it real quick. So the handgun does uh, 1.2 firepower. No, no, no. It does one firepower with a 0.4... Oh, because it reduces it. Uh, with a 0.47 reload speed. So that's what I care about the most. No, that's firing speed. A 1.73 reload speed. So let's see. So the Punisher actually has a better reload speed. Why does it increase it? You want a less reload speed. Oh, never mind, doesn't. Okay, so the Punisher is faster. Um, firepower is slightly more, only by 0.1, so that's pretty insignificant, I have to guess. Um, I don't really know what we want to upgrade on this, if anything. I mean, we're doing great on ammo. We never got low. We only use a couple of rounds here and there. Um, firing speed is the same. I think we're just going to keep it default here. What are you buying? What are you and we're gonna go ahead and organize our inventory real quick. Oh, we gotta sell our handgun. What are so, you selling? not the handgun ammo. We have 108 rounds of handgun ammo. That's pretty good. All right, go ahead and sell that for 4,000. I believe at the end Thank of you. it, the handgun actually has more uh, stopping power if you wish to choose that gun for your upgrade. Um, if that's the case, you can just sell the Punisher, but what are you I'm just going to go ahead and take it. We don't really need the treasure maps, not yet at least. Um, if you're a completionist and you want to do everything in the game after you beat it, then I guess, but that's not necessary. Alright, so let's go ahead and organize here. We're going to put our rifle ammo at the bottom and our TMP ammo at the bottom because that's not something we use. We'll put our 
shotgun ammo at the bottom as well next to our shotgun which is something we do use um all right we'll put this first we need to get a yellow herb and a red herb which i think we're gonna get both of those in the next area here so i'll go put that there i'll put that there i'll put that there kind of messy right now but we can deal with it and then stacks of 50 we'll go here and here all right i can live with that all right let's see real quick what my i don't know how to get to the alarm on my phone oh wait right here i think 12:27. so yeah we're running out of time we only got a few minutes left um what i'm gonna do then is there's a saving point right up here I'm just going to go ahead and get that real quick, and then we'll call it quits. I don't even think we have any enemies to fight from here. We have a trap, as you can see right there. We just saw the signpost. So, I want to get that out of the way, because like I said, if I aim to die at all in this playthrough, it's going to be from those falling boulders. I think there's only one more after this, too. Oh, I pushed L1 and R1 because that's what it used to be. I've never had that combo before. Wow, that gets me going every time. Oh, we're not at a saving point. I thought we were somewhere entirely different. All right. I thought we were going to fight that uh, Del Lago or whatever it's called. So we are going to head back and save and call it quits. This is the swamp area. The swamp area is kind of fun. Resident Evil likes to throw you in a swamp area. I remember on Resident Evil 5 when I first encountered the swamp area. Oh, that was fun. When you met those uh, tri tribal African people, that was pretty dope. I'll probably do a let's play on it on this channel. It's a pretty good game. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and save and call it quits. See how long we played for. Not that long, actually. Um, but you know what? We're just going to call it quits. All right, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.